Chuck, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Anthony Libertar with Global Air. And behind us is the Cessna Sky Courier. And you're with? I work in technical marketing, but I'm also on the, uh, the core team for the Sky Courier. In terms of that, I heard you have a background in the gestation of this aircraft, in terms of the design. Please tell yes. us more. So I've been involved since pretty much since the beginning. You know, we had a requirement from FedEx to develop an aircraft that would uh, partner with the caravans or the cargo masters they currently operate and uh, develop an aircraft that was uh, capable of carrying three of the large LD3 containers uh, that they would uh, use to transfer cargo. And so we basically laid out three LD3 containers and developed an aircraft that you see here behind us. So you did what is really proper engineering. You went to the customers first. Absolutely, yes. They approached us and uh, we sat down with them and they outlined exactly what their requirements were in terms of payload and range and uh, obviously we worked in partnership with them to develop the aircraft. Upon reading the literature, I read where it's got a one-stop fuel filling uh, inlet. Um, the interior, you can change it very quickly. So that lends itself to being, you know, really utilitarian. And my guess is that was also a customer requirement, but you also had a hand in that. Well, partly, yes. Yeah. So, you know, this is a very big aircraft that you see here. So we do have overwing refueling, port, but uh, obviously you need a long ladder for that. So yeah. we do have uh, pressure refueling. It takes about eight minutes to fill both tanks. It's a wet wing. It's very, uh, very easy to do that. Um, but we actually developed two variants. We have the pure freighter, which FedEx asked for. So that's just for hauling freight. And then we also developed a 19 seat passenger version, which takes advantage of the flat floor we could put 19 passenger seats plus all their baggage in the back. We use the same cargo door there for entry and it's reconfigurable. So you can configure it to, to carry 19 seats or to uh, reconfigure it to a combi or a combination of passengers and freight or take all the seats out and use it as a freighter. So a little bit more versatile. Landing gear, fixed and robust rather than you know parts coming in and parts having to maintain. Yeah, so the goal of the aircraft was really just to keep it just simple make it robust and reliable. And so we, we just simplified everything. We just had a fixed landing gear. Uh, so there's no hydraulic system other than the brakes uh, to, to power the, the land, but otherwise more complex retractable gear. Uh, still does around 210 knots, which is uh, it's 30, knots, 30 knots faster than a caravan. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, just, just kept a simple uh, cable push rod uh, capability in terms of flight controls. In terms of engines, you went with the, you know, it's almost vanilla and everybody likes vanilla ice cream and they work and you went with the later higher performance version of PT-6. Yeah, so we were just again went with a well-known tried tested engine, the PT-6-65, uh, uh, that's on the Beach 1900C. Uh, we actually um, customized it a little bit so it does have an SC or a Sky Care designation. Um, it does have a torque limiter, we uh, incorporate a lot of uh, uh, other features as well like remote sensing of the oil quantity so that you didn't have to get up and do a climb, climb up a ladder to uh, inspect the oil, for example. Very good. Uh, I notice uh, de-icing equipment, what looks like some rather robust uh, windshield as well. Yeah, so cross windshields are heated as standard, but we do have uh, uh, flight and snow icing as an option. So we have uh, the addition of boots on the leading edges of all the surfaces, including the struts and the sponson that you see there, uh, but that's an option. In terms of um, Customer response and pilot response, uh, what do you hear? Well, pilots love it. I mean, it's a big flight deck there. We have the G G1000 uh, NXI system. We have the big 12-inch screens uh, utilizing both uh, for PFDs and uh, the MFD in the middle for moving map and the ICAS full engine instrumentation uh, system. So pilots just love the airplane. So it's a very well handling airplane. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, not that I can think of, but obviously operating costs come into it as well. So all that ro those robust systems and long maintenance intervals, 800 hours between checks. Uh, there's a few things, 18 months as well. But overall, uh, that helps bring down the cost of operation, which is really the goal of the aircraft. Excellent. Thank you for your time. Thank you, well, sir. You're welcome.